All right, Comedy Ball. How you doing, guys? All right? Yeah. Oh, it's a great weekend. This is good, man. Three-day weekend. I'm loving it. Hey, guys, I got a, bit, uh, a little uh, admission for you. I got, a, I got some self-esteem issues. And uh, I think it stems when I was a kid. You know, I used to work for my dad. And I would be driving through the city, and you'd see a homeless person walking down the street. And I'd yell out the window, hey, Todd! And then he turned to me in the passenger seat and go, oh, I thought you get out of the truck. <laughs> Yeah, little did you know I'd actually be homeless in a couple of years, you know? I'd see him driving by and I'd flip him off. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, and my self-esteem issues, though, they didn't stop me from actually getting a girlfriend who uh, just recently moved in with me. Yeah. Right. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we get to split the rent. <laughs> yeah. Which is uh, romantic. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, one of the first things my girlfriend had me do, though, when she moved in was immediately change the toilet paper I was using when I was single. Because, uh, you know, I was living on my own, I was using a very cheap brand of toilet paper, you know. But I did like the brand I was using. You know, when I was living on my own, I could wipe my ass, or I could go sand a boat. <laughs> you know? But she brought the aloe in, guys. You gotta appreciate the aloe, it's a good thing. So. Uh, another thing she had to get used to, I have a cat. I don't know if you guys have cats and dogs. Yeah. Yeah. The guy who loves his cat, <laughs> loves my cat. My cat brings me a lot of joy, a lot of companionship. Uh, she brings me the headless corpses of mice. It's like a little science project when I get home from work at the end of the day. But uh, they say when a cat brings you a dead animal, you know, it's a sign of affection. So uh, I went up and I got a dead squirrel and put it on my girlfriend's pillow. Yeah. Apparently it doesn't work the same for people, folks. <laughs> let them learn, let them learn. Uh, another thing my girlfriend wanted me to do, um, when she moved in, typical Bostonian, I'm always swearing all the time, so she wanted me to stop swearing. So in order to do that, I decided I was going to change all the swear words to fruits and vegetables. <laughs> so uh, the other day I was at Walmart and this guy cut me off in the parking lot and yelled like, you mother apple carrot sucking banana bag! <laughs> and I had so cut me off, I was crazy. So if you guys cut me off leaving tonight, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> Cause I'm back to swearing, guys. <laughs> that didn't work out. Um, yeah, another thing uh, we did was actually fun my first time doing this. Uh, we went to apple picking in the fall. I don't know if you guys did anything for the fall, like, you know, corn mazes or anything, but uh, we went up to New Hampshire, went apple picking. I had a good time, but I didn't realize when I was doing that, the tax and activity that you have to be in a relationship to do. <laughs> you know, I can't see a bunch of single guys getting together being like, Hey, Joey, what are you doing this weekend? <laughs> yeah, me and Frank are doing some apple picking. <laughs> I'm going to some Granny Smith and some uh, Macintosh, come back and make a pie. <laughs> People later around will go over to Kevin's house and have a Fifty Shades of Grey, you know, great book reading club, you know? <laughs> have some pie and watch the notebook, you know? <laughs> Hey guys, I work in a warehouse, <coughs> unloading trucks. Yeah, living the dream, guys. It's my real job, so that's fun. Uh, I like my job, though. It's kind of neat. Um, sometimes they send me out on deliveries, which I like. I have a good time. Uh, I was out on a delivery the other day. Uh, I saw a sign in the front yard of a house. It said, uh, drive like your children live here. So I pulled up on the front lawn. I started doing donuts with my finger out the window. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't have any fucking kids. <laughs> I was thinking actually of adopting a kid, you know, when he's 17, and when he's 18, he's out! I'm buying him some luggage for his birthday, he's out of here. <laughs> Mow the lawn on the way out of here. Yeah, so. My boss came down the other day, when I, you know, working at the warehouse. My boss came down, he says, I want you to clean up this warehouse and get rid of some of these old tools, you know? And I thought to myself, yeah, maybe we can start with upper management. Yeah, well, I thought that, guys. <laughs> I want to keep my job, you know? So, I'm actually getting older, I don't know if you guys can tell him. Right here, you know. I had a birthday, New Year's Eve was my birthday, I turned 44 years old. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Alright, no, that's pretty much what happened on my birthday too. Quiet. <laughs> yeah, so I don't like my birthday because it's so close to Christmas. You know, I get kind of weird gifts. You know, for Christmas I get a pair of sneakers. And uh, for my birthday I get the shoelaces. <laughs> that kind of sucks. I'm, uh, I'm actually old enough now where I don't understand, you know, this new generation's music. You know, my nephew comes up to me the other day and he's like, oh, dubstep, you guys know dubstep? And he comes up to me, he's like, oh, dubstep, it's the new sound, yeah, he starts playing it for me, he's like, all this electronic noise, I'm like, what the hell is that, you know? He's like, yeah, it's DJs, it's a new sound, I'm like, kid, that's an old sound. It's called Broken CD Player. <laughs> you don't want to get that fixed. <laughs> you know, he's like, no, it's all DJs, it's a DJ named Skrillex, right, Skrillex? He says, yeah, Skrillex, I'm like, that actually sounds familiar to me, Skrillex. It reminds me when I was in elementary school, the nurse would call home and say, Yeah, your son's got bugs in his hair. You gotta go get the special shampoo, it's called Skrillex. <laughs> wash those bugs right out of your hair, you know? 
All right, guys, that's my time, folks. We had a good time. My name is Todd Clay, and thanks for letting me play in your brain. I'm going to get you the most of this time here, everybody. Thank you very much. Todd Clay, everybody. Yeah.